Hello, my name is Kelly Bluen. I am a certified Zentangle teacher. Welcome to day 29 of Inktober 2022. Day 29, I cannot believe we are almost done. Today's tangle is called Avro, and it was created by Yvonne Westover, who is a certified Zentangle teacher. And she has a really cool story about Avro is on an older Canadian airline and she happens to be a flight attendant and she was near the airport and saw a truck go by that had an Avro logo. Anyway, the story is much cuter than I'm telling it, but this stemmed from a logo and her love of flying. So it's a beautiful tangle that has a lot of really fun variations. I'm starting on my calendar page and using a Micron 01 pen, then I'll be moving to my larger paper where I am filling it up with all 31 tangles. Okay, Avro starts out with the letter A. And when we make the A, this side is pretty straight, but this side has a little curve to the bottom. I'm on a very wiggly table tonight, I'm so sorry. And then we take this little curved side and we come up and we curve it the opposite way. So it makes this backwards S shape, like that. Then she makes the line for the A and auras the side of the A. And then for this next part, she makes a little line going off the top like that. I'll make mine a little bit wider actually. And then we come down and meet that bottom curve. So I kind of bumped out, making that backwards S shape again. And then we do it again and again. And that is Avro. If you're able to find her examples online, she does incredibly beautiful artwork using variations of this. So mine won't be quite as impressive, but I do have a couple of variations to share with you. Okay, so here is my large piece of paper. So hopefully you can get an idea of what that's looking like. It's getting very filled up. And I just have a little bit of space left here and I'm so excited to see how this comes together at the end. I'm gonna zoom back in. I am so sorry about the wiggling tonight. Okay, now I'm switching to a Micron PN plastic nib pen. It's a little bit thicker pen to use on this mixed media paper. Okay, so I'm gonna start by doing Avro as a border. So I'm gonna come over here to the side. And I'm gonna make the letter A. So the one side is gonna be you know, a, a fairly straight lined diagonal. And then my next one's gonna have a little bit of a swoop to it. Then I'm gonna do another A and a swoop. And I'm gonna do four of them. Okay, and on the side that has that little bit of a swoop, I'm gonna go up and out the opposite way. So I make that backwards S shape. Which is basically just, you know, a curved line. Here we go. Then I'm gonna put my middle of my letter A in there. 
and aura the side just so that I don't forget to do that later. Okay, now I'm gonna bump up and out. And I like to do just kind of a little bit of a curve to that. I'm gonna go ahead and do it on all of them so you can see how that looks. And then I'm gonna mimic that same backwards S. So I'm just gonna bump out a tiny bit, come in, but then at the bottom, I'm going to meet it at the point. So the top is wider than the bottom. I bump out and come in to the bottom. And you might want to do all of these little shapes on the first A, but I'm just having fun doing one at a time and then coming back to them. Okay, so I need to do two more on each one. So I'm just gonna go down a little bit and bump out again. And swoop down. And then I'm gonna do one more, bump out, swoop down, bump out, swoop down. It is so pretty. I love that so much. Okay, now I'm just going to kind of fill in some of the spaces here. So I'm going to add some striping down on the bottom section. You can put orbs in, you could aura it, you could leave it plain, whatever you want to do. Okay, there's that. And then I have this extra space right here that's just kind of a, a little bit of a leftover area. So I could put orbs in there. I could add some more striping, I could just leave it, but actually I'm going to add a fourth little, I don't know what these are, like little wings, just because I have the room. So I'm going to go ahead and add that fourth one. And then if I have room, like right here, I'm going to go ahead and put another one. I don't have room there. There, just to kind of fill it in. Okay, I'm gonna leave that one for now and show you another variation that I did. So for this one, I'm gonna put two of them together. And let's see, I think I'm gonna do it right here. So let me remember how I did that. I think I started out with the A shape, like that. And then I'm gonna turn my paper. And do that A shape again, but the other way. Zoom in a little bit. And then I'm going to extend that little backwards S shape, bump out and curve in, bump out and curve in, like that. Go back to that first A that I made. I have to extend this one up and out making that backwards S shape, out and come in, out and come in. In this middle part, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the whole thing with these little stripes, just so it looks like one 
shape and not two things put together. And I'm gonna aura each side of that letter. That looks so cool. And now I've got areas around here where I can connect it. I don't want this just floating around. So maybe I will put an orb in here. Like that. Over here, I'm gonna aura this, um, this shape that swoops down here. I think that was a Narfellow. And I'm just going to, I'm aura in that shape over there. See how that kind of connects it? And I'll figure out later what I'm gonna do there. Okay, so there's two variations. Another variation that I did, I don't really have room on here to do it, but I made um, a basic cross shape and then made A's on each of those and it had these little wings coming out and it made a beautiful pattern. Just didn't think I really had room on here for that. I'll show you a little bit of quick shading. On these larger wings, I'm going to put a little bit on the outside of each of those. And that gives it that overlapping look. Isn't that pretty? Then I'm also going to do inside that A shape. And that just sort of moves that thing, that little A shape, towards the background. And I would shade this one the same way. Okay, so that is Avro. Enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful time with it, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.